Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Auto's HQ. Guys, we're working on the red Fiat 500 today. We're gonna crack on and get, get on with that, see how far we can go with it. Really, really have a push on with it. Um, I'm not gonna suggest how far we're gonna get, but let's just see how far we get. But before we do, guys, I just wanna quickly just, um, yeah, last night on that video, with the ST, with that OBD port. Um, I don't know if I expl didn't explain myself very properly, and I'm, you know, you know it happens uh, to all of us. Um, so yeah, that that is just a temp. That was just a temporary um, connection to see if that was the end. That wire was the end of the wiring loom. That's that's what that was. What I did. <laughs> served the purpose and that purpose was to find that out and it did find it out and now i know but it's not going to stay like that <laughs> a lot of views come on guys you, you know what i'm like how fussy am i on these cars as if i'm going to leave there like that come on <laughs> some of you guys were just um yeah and a lot of them were, was like to be honest with you a lot of them was like all oh, electricians you know, boy, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> of course you're going to say that because you're an auto electrician, you know what I mean? People don't like... When when someone tries to, to, to do their trade, people don't like it. Like, when I had windscreen fitters messaging me, no, you're not, you shouldn't be doing like that, you shouldn't be doing... Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so, but I just don't think I explain myself very properly, uh, very clear when it comes to that. So, uh, my bad. Um, yeah, a little bit of my fault. Uh, so, so, yeah, sorry for that. But... Um, so yeah, <laughs> but I was getting some stupid comments, really, really stupid. Where I was like, you know, you're a bodge and <laughs> it's horrendous, it's uh, horrific. So yeah, <laughs> but that, I didn't really explain myself. So that is going to be rewired um, and another, uh, a, a normal, a longer wire put on um, the end of that wire and then put somewhere else. But I don't want to show where I'm putting it because it ain't fair on the new owner. So I'm not I'm not going to show where, I, where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to show that I've done it. So it's been rewired properly, um, connection, soldered, uh, taped, and then, yeah, put somewhere else, but I won't show you where it is. So just want to draw a line underneath that and let's move on. So <clears throat> that's that done, guys. Let's move on. Let's go over to the um, Fiat. Let's crack on with that and let's see how far we get. So yeah, guys, we're going to be working on this today. Let's just see how far we can get with it. Um, I've already done, and I'll quickly show you, the seat belts, both sides. They've been done, as you can see there. Changed them over. So that's all been set. Um, <clears throat> so I'll set you up in the back, and then we'll just crack on. Let's get this dash in. Let's get all the bits and pieces. And um, who knows? We might even be able to get this windscreen on. So, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just go for it.
Right up guys, so yeah, it's uh, coming along. It's getting there, pieces and pieces. So as you can see, uh, most of the dash is in now. Just got to do the central, central console part and the bottom part there and the cowling. But <clears throat> the, uh, it's pretty dark in there, sorry. It's, um, the airbag modular is just down the bottom there. And I don't want to continue covering it all up if there's a problem with that actual modular, which I think there is because I'll quickly show you. So, when you start it, she ain't happy. She ain't happy at all. But the only thing that I've changed differently is the airbag modular, because everything else is just a plug and play um, and swap over. So, I've spoke to the guy I know. Um, he's gonna come over. You can see it up there. That's the original airbag module for this car. And it's got the crash data stored on that actual modular. So he's gonna come over, he's gonna take that apart, um, that modular there, the original one, take it apart, wipe the, the airbag data, crash data, and then uh, plug it in and, and that should be us um, okay. So um, yeah, probably could do a little bit more on the bottom here, but nothing sort of, you know, I've got to get it out and to be able to access it. So I'll see what space I need to get that off and get it get it changed. But yeah, for now we're gonna have to um we have to wait for that for that for that data to be um to be wiped. Um but I think we're gonna probably move on to the windscreen guys. So I've got the um <clears throat> I've got the adhesive now for the windscreen. So we'll just move on to this, we'll prep the windscreen Prep, prep all this, which I think we did last time. Yeah, that's all right. So I've got to do um, some primer around the around the frame, and then um, yeah, we'll move on until the guy turns up a bit later. He said about three o'clock, so the, you know we might not at, at the end of this video we might not get it sorted out. But let's just see. Yeah, let's see what happens during the course of the day. So let's do this. So guys, I've moved on to the windscreen, as I said now. We're gonna move on to that and we'll start doing that. I've prepped the, the windscreen itself. I've cleaned it all up, um, took all the old adhesive off, left a, a slight bit on there um, because you're supposed to leave a little bit so it keys onto the new adhesive. You can see the primer I've got here and that primer is for uh, the glass and the body. And you just literally get a bit of brush and then just brush it round, just brush it round where it's gonna sit, where the adhesive's gonna sit, you brush it around, yeah? Uh, same same on the body, uh, framework, so you just literally paint primer all the way around, and then that's ready to be sat on. So, um, before we get into it, I'm gonna set you up and I'm gonna show you, but I just wanted to quickly show you um, the actual nozzle that we have to use, which is, which is this one here. So, what you do, let me just uh, set you up. So what you do is, let me just sort of focus in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like little little zigzag lines in it. And then what you do is you cut it at an angle. So you go like that. That one there, first of all, like that. And then you do the opposite angle like that. So. Like that. And then just finish it off. Take that a bit further. And then yeah, so you end up with a V-shape nozzle. Something like that. I'll tidy up a little bit more. Um, so that's what you're trying to trying to get to. That's that's the aim of a nozzle. Normally, with a nozzle, when you're doing masticking and stuff, you just do it at an angle like that um, to do masticking. Uh, but when you're doing adhesive, uh, like um, adhesive for windscreens, you do it like this, so that um, when you apply it, uh, the V sort of and it, and it pushes it down, yeah, at an angle. So there you go. So I just want to quickly show you that. Um, I'll set you up guys, let's move on and um, let's start um, putting the adhesive around and the primer. So yeah, let's do this.
So there we go. <laughs> it's ready for the paint shop. Apart from obviously the guy about the ECU did not turn up. So it is what it is, guys. He's gonna come do this Monday morning, first thing, and then it can go to the paint shop after I've done this. So yeah, I'll show you obviously inside. All I've got to do is put the chairs in. Everything else has been uh, buttoned up, apart from obviously the, the covers each side, so I can get that. That's where the airbag module uh, sits and locates and wires up. So I can't put that back. Apart from that, uh, I don't really want to put the seats in because I just think it's an absolute waste of time. I need to get this carpet cleaned and then I'll put the seats in. Otherwise, it means putting the seats in and out and in and just, just, just seems like a waste of, yeah. I like to do things <laughs> in order if I can. So clean the bottom first, then the seats go back in. But I could do that first thing Monday morning before the guy turns up. Cause I'll get here for about half seven, seven o'clock. Get that done, get the seats in, he can turn up, get the ECU done, not the ECU, the airbag modular, get that done and cleared, put that back in the car, get it over to the paint shop. And that's it. And I'll show you obviously the front end. Um, it's just all, it does need lining up. Um, you can see that the, the bonnet, uh, you know, it's, it's higher that end than it is that end. So I've still got to play around with it a little bit, but it's all loose because that's the way the body shop, uh, the paint shop wants it, wants it loose. Two bolts, one bolt there each side, and then one bolt on the end of each, um, holding up the, um, onto the wing. But yeah, windscreen's done. Um, lights are back in place. It's all buttoned up. I even, before I put these wheels back on, I cleaned them. Because what I like to do is if, it, if I ever take a wheel off, I like to clean the inside of the alloy wheel. You can see inside, it's, it's all clean. Because I just like to clean them before I put them back. It's just a, an OCD thing, I think. <laughs> Don't know, but yeah. So that's why they, that's why they look so clean, is because I've, I've, just actually, I've actually just cleaned it. Um, it does... It does seem to, oh no, the battery's not connected. I can't even show you. <laughs> um, but it does seem to be running a lot smoother now, but obviously it's still got the airbag lights up. They're all, they're all still up. So, you know, again, we'll get that sorted out Monday. So here we go. That is ready. Close, close guys. I've done a lot today. I've done a lot on this car today. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah. And I forgot to tell you yesterday that um, I sold the Corsa, the white Corsa limited edition. That's gone as well. So not only has the black ZTEC S gone, the white Corsa's gone. So now we're down to four cars. And this will be ready soon. Um, yeah, so we are, I am sort of, you know, going through them, piling through them. So it's good. So we are definitely gonna have to pick up some more cars. Yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> so there we go. I had to go and get, I spoke to Fiat today because I'm trying to find the bumper for the gray one that's at the front, the, um, the 500 Sport. I cannot find a 500 Sport, not any, any color. It, you just can't find them because apparently they only done them, they only run that sort of bumper for two years and then they changed it to a facelift model after 2015, I think it's just, just, just for two years, 14 and 15, or was it 13 and 14, one of, the, one of them, but just, just two years, and I couldn't find them anywhere, so I've gone to the main dealer, they're going to get me a bumper, um, I didn't think it was particularly that expensive, to be honest with you, it's expensive compared to this one, don't get me wrong, that was like 45 quid, <laughs> the main dealer, uh, for the sport version, they want 225 um, it is what it is. Like, there's no, there's no point crying about it, or there's no point getting upset about it, or whining, or you know, spending more time trying to find one. Just get it and move on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right. So that's enough waffle, guys. That's enough. That's enough waffling. I've worked hard today, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna crash big time. So, guys, really appreciate all the support. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't forget, have a great weekend, 
and I'll see you Monday morning. Stay safe.